Hello everyone, today we have Swami Ranjan Das, rank 136, UPSC 2022. His feat is remarkable in sense that he scored impressive 129 marks in essay paper. Another reason why he is here that he was able to increase his performance by 21 marks. So today we will discuss the strategy that he followed, what helped him to improve upon his performance and here we will try to discuss some tips and the strategy that he followed so that you will be able to raise your marks in your future attempts. So welcome Swami. Thank you sir. First question I would like to ask uh, is what kind of general strategy that you chose for attempting essay paper. Like I would like to tell you that few students prefer to maintain the content or uh, cover the content theme wise. Like they will collect content for women issues economic issues and other themes like that. Second approach is directly heading to answer writing and getting feedback and incorporating it into your answer writing. So what was your approach? So I feel I used to follow the second approach, which is I used to give the FLTs mm -hmm. and uh, I used to take feedback. I also tried to contact you and I have taken many feedback that you gave me from, from my FLTs. And also apart from this, I used to maintain a theme wise quotes collection. So that theme wise quote collection was also an additional point which helped me add value to my essay. Okay. So now for the, so the second question that I would like to ask you that there are eight questions yes, sir. Uh, in divided in two sections. Yes, sir. So how did you pick the right topic on if any suggestion for candidates? that how they should approach in uh, selecting the right topic for the essay paper. Yes, sir. sir. I think in the first few minutes when we see an essay paper, there is a lot of confusion and a lot of options that to choose from. Especially uh, these days. <laughs> yes, sir. The eight, uh, eight topics. And more so in these days, we are having a lot of philosophical essays. Correct. So when there are a lot of philosophical essays, deciding each topic needs some amount of time invested to each of them. Correct. So uh, as usual, I also gave some time, let's say some something around one to two minutes for each topic. I First of all, I saw that if I'm unable to interpret any topic or I'm facing some difficulty in interpreting a topic, mm -hmm. then I would usually forego the topic and go to the next topic. But if I'm able to interpret something, then uh, from the po topics which I'm able to interpret uh, to a reasonable amount, I would like to uh, think of examples and points, arguments uh, for, for that topic mm -hmm. so finally after doing this much uh, effort if i find that there is a topic where i can find sub sufficient amount of examples and arguments and dimensions then i would clearly choose that topic so first you gave one to two minutes to yes. every topic yes. and then when you was confident about any particular topic then you picked it yes sir. so let's move to the next question now you have picked the topic what next so I think uh, a major role is played when we interpret the topic and if we interpret Correct. it correctly, Correct. uh, one third of the job is done. Why one third? Because another one third is the brainstorming part where, uh, where as, as we have earlier discussed that uh, we need to open up the topic as much as possible. Correct. We need to explore many dimension. We need to find an opposing viewpoint to the statement mm -hmm. and all those dimension creating processes are done in the brainstorming part. In brainstorming part also, I specifically used to uh, follow a mechanical approach in which I used to recollect, let's say, three to four examples for each dimension that I can think of. Then also, apart from uh, recalling these, I also tried to delineate the number of pages that I will devote to each of the dimension. This yes. sir, helped me uh, to maintain a proper balance between the dimension and this helped me from uh, getting skewed over any one dimension. Sir, quoting uh, an incident, I would like to say that in my first attempt, I think this is where I went wrong. I didn't delineate uh, 
page wise and uh, as uh, as we have discussed already that uh, in the topic there were two subparts and yes. i was overly skewed towards the first subpart and yes. gave less importance to the second subpart which i think was the reason why i scored less marks okay so the ba balance thing is very important yes sir. you have to address each part of the topic yes sir moving on to the next question that uh, what are the nitty gritties because flow is the kind of soul of essay how did you maintain the flow of the essay yes sir sir so when we discussed after the after my first attempt i had this big doubt that what exactly is flow because i heard a lot lot of things that we have to maintain flow and i had some basic idea that for flow we have to make connecting words but i tried to understand what exactly we mean by flow so that i can incorporate it, it mm -hmm. in my essays mm -hmm. so what i understood from our discussion was that uh, flow can be correlated to let's say a movie movie without an intermission uh, so an intermission is where the flow is broken and a new scene is created right. but in general without an intermission a movie flows in such a manner that uh, the next sequence is directly related to the first sequence if if ever it it creates an opposing uh, viewpoint for example in climax or plot twist so there also the relation is there with the previous sequence so i think similarly for uh, an essay is simply like a movie or uh, fiction so for the reader it should appear that the previous sequence is related to the next sequence and whenever we introduce a next sequence it shouldn't be abrupt like we shouldn't introduce an abrupt example Correct. we shouldn't introduce an abrupt uh, argument let's say so so i followed these things correct so how did the qip help so i think uh, through qip i got a lot of mentorship from you uh, regarding the feedback on my flts and also the other essays which i wrote separately and get, got it evaluated from you and uh, i was able to gauge exactly what all mistakes were there for example if i may cite one uh, you had earlier said me that in every example i have to give a holistic picture of the whole topic like all the dimension of the all the sub parts of the topic has to be there in every example so that gives a holistic picture to the example so this kind of feedback helped me and i tried to incorporate it in my subsequent essays yes that i can remember that i told you that just enlisting the example will not help yes sir so anything else you want to add so lastly i think uh, i want to cite some some methods which i kept in mind for example uh, it is not necessary to add pictures or diagrams uh, unnecessarily like if it fits the essay and fits fits the argument then it's fine but it's not advisable to add it uh, mandatorily also like uh, point wise writing should be avoided it's like writing should be yes sir yes. so because uh, essay is like a flow and it's like a story so Correct. it feels good if we are uh, writing it as a flow as a paragraph and uh, saying so we should keep in mind that the paragraph shouldn't be very monotonous and very long so it it should be short crisp and to the point so that it catches the attention of the reader yes sir so that's all right okay thank you very much som and congratulations for your feat thank you sir so here we had somiranjan das rank 136 i hope his strategy will help you in scoring good marks in your next mains and your next attempts so thank you keep practicing all the best